so we'll uh, see a design of rectangular tanks in the previous lectures we have gone through design of circular tanks uh, resting on the ground so today uh, we'll see uh, the rectangular tanks the rectangular tanks are used uh, uh, for small capacity uh, because uh, for uh, because uh, the circular tanks are uh, are costly uh, due to the pump work uh, so for small capacity the rectangular tanks are preferred so for small capacity of storage the circular tanks circular tanks are uneconomical because uh, because of form work because of costly form work okay uh and hence uh rectangular tanks are preferred for small capacity rectangular tanks are preferred now the uh, exact analysis of a rectangular tank is difficult exact analysis of rectangular tank is difficult and so uh, the approximate methods approximate methods are used uh so for the anal uh, analysis purpose uh, you can use uh, approximate methods uh, uh, such um, uh, means by use of uh, moment distribution methods uh, you can uh, find the moments and another way is to use the tables given in uh, in uh, is 3370 part 4 so uh, so method of analysis methods of analysis of rectangular tanks so the first is uh, the approximate method in which uh, we will be using the moment distribution method using moment distribution method okay another way is to use the tables uh, which are based on the exact analysis tables given in is 3370 part 4 in 1967 they can be used uh, to find the moments and the uh, tension and shear in the walls and the third thing is uh, by using the computer softwares and modeling the tank as a plate element using computer uh, programming or or uh, softwares uh, and model and model the rectangular tanks as plate element now uh, since uh, the tables given in is 3370 part 4 are not allowed uh, in the examination we will be uh, using the approximate methods uh, 
to analyze the rectangular tanks okay now depending on different uh, length to aspect uh, uh, different length to width aspect ratio of the tanks uh, we have different cases say for example uh, let us consider any uh, tank okay this is the uh, plan view of the tank okay plan and this is the length of the tank and this is the width of the tank so depending on the aspect ratio depending on on the aspect ratio of rectangular tank we have two cases we have two cases one is uh, the l by b that is the length to width ratio less than 2 and another is the length to width ratio greater than 2 okay so we'll see uh, uh, both the cases and how the behavior of the tank differs uh, when you have the l by b ratio less than 2 and when the l by b ratio is greater than 2 so so let us uh, consider the first case that is uh, l by b ratio less than 2 okay uh, so in such cases Uh, the tank behaves as a continuous frame when your l by b ratio is less than 2 okay the tank behaves as a continuous frame subjected to hydrostatic pressure Okay, so when your L by B ratio, let me draw the plan here again. So when this this is L and this is the width. Okay, and here uh, the L by B ratio is less than two. So in such cases, uh, the uh, tank behaves as a continuous frame. Okay, uh, so uh, this this is considered as a frame. Uh, okay, whereas uh, when the L by B ratio is more than two, that in that case your length of the longer wall is much uh, more compared to the other two walls. So these longer walls are uh, uh, behaving as a cantilever, and the shorter walls they are assumed as supported by the longer walls. Okay, but uh, here uh, when L by B ratio is less than two, uh, this uh, 
this uh, uh, the tank uh, acts as a uh, continuous frame now uh, let us see the elevation of this tank if this is the let us say this is the elevation of the tank And this is also L. And let us say this is the uh, height of the tank. Okay, this is elevation, and this is in plan. Now, when uh, this L by uh, this is for the case. L by B ratio less than two. Okay. Now, when this L by B ratio is two, uh, this frame, uh, this uh, this tank acts as a continuous frame subjected to hydrostatic pressure uh, from the water inside. So we have the hydrostatic pressure on the walls of the tank. And if you see uh, the uh, bending moment, then uh, you will have the negative moments at the corners, positive moments at the center, negative moment here, and positive moment here. Okay. Same way uh, on all other sides also. Uh, this is uh, as this is symmetrical. Uh, same thing will be there on the other sides also. Now, uh, the positive means uh, the tension is on the. Uh, let let us mark with a different color with positive and negative. So let us say this is negative, negative. Negative means uh, the tension on the liquid phase. Tension on liquid phase means the steel required for this will be provided on the inner face of the wall, and the positive means the tension on the remote face. Tension on remote face. That means the steel will be provided uh, on the outer face of the wall. Uh, means uh, see if you see the deflected shape of this. Then, then you can imagine that uh, it is obvious that the this is how this tank will deflect. Okay, uh, 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 this uh, deflection is shown uh, too large, but this is how it will deflect. Okay. so you can see that uh, this face uh, on the outside uh, there will be tension and on inside there will be compression so you require steel on the outer face same way there will outside the walls will be in tension and this will be in compression so you require steel on the uh, remote faces but at the corners uh, if you see uh, this will be uh, reverse the steel will be required on the uh, liquid phase side means on the inner phase of the walls now for the analysis purpose the bottom uh, the uh, height of the uh, tank is divided into two uh, parts uh, the bottom part okay this is called the bottom portion
and the top part is top portion okay now uh, what should be the uh, the height of the bottom portion so that is uh, given as bottom portion it is it is uh, taken as over a small h okay. and this h is equal to it is the maximum of h by 4 or 1 meter whichever is more so and in the bottom portion this portion acts as a cantilever this bottom portion acts as a cantilever or this this bottom portion behaves as cantilever behaves as cantilever whereas the remaining top portion that is capital h minus small h this is the bottom portion small h and the top portion is h minus h so the remaining portion h minus h uh, that behaves as a behaves as a continuous frame and the moments uh, can be found moments can be found using moment distribution method Okay, and the moments in this uh, top portion, uh, which acts as a continuous frame, uh, that can be found using moment distribution method. So, uh, we'll take an example uh, of uh, such rectangular tanks and how to analyze them. That we'll see uh, later on. Now, in addition to these, uh, uh, the top portion and bottom portion, uh, which behaves as a continuous uh, frame and cantilever respectively, uh, there is some additional. Uh, Additionally, uh, <coughs> the wall is subjected to uh, this uh, axial tension due to hydrostatic pressure. So additionally, the uh, tank walls are subjected to direct tension. due to hydrostatic pressure okay. and this uh, hydrostatic pressure is given by direct tension in long wall is equals to gamma w times h minus h times b by 2 where where b is the width of the tank and direct tension in short wall is equals to gamma w times h minus h times l by 2 where l is a Uh, length of the tank okay so uh, this was about the case one uh, in which uh, the uh, bottom portion of the tank behaves as a cantilever and the top portion of the tank behaves as a, uh, a continuous frame 
so uh, if you see uh, the hydrostatic pressure diagram for this tank so this is the hydrostatic pressure on tank so this bottom portion uh, behaves as a cantilever subjected to this much loading and the top portion acts as a continuous spring uh, subjected to this much triangular uh, pressure so from the above you will get uh, two types of uh, bending moments in the tank uh, two types uh, two forces in the tank the one uh, you have to find the bending moments in positive and negative bending moment in long and short wall long and short walls okay and uh, another uh, you will have a uh, direct tension tension in long and short wall long and short wall and we have seen that uh, the positive uh, at the center the steel required is positive okay and at the corners the steel required is negative that means uh, the steel is provided on the liquid phase and positive means the steel is provided on the uh, remote phase now for the shorter uh, side uh, this may vary uh, either it may be positive or it may be negative uh, that depends upon the uh, the uh, this uh, width uh, of uh, the tank because for, for the shorter width uh, this may be in negative and for slightly uh, longer uh, this may have the positive value so but we consider this as a positive only in case it if it comes out to be negative uh, that that comes from the analysis result this is also the positive phase and from the direct tension uh, you you require steel on both the faces see uh, here the negative means the steel is provided on the inner face the steel is provided on the inner face consider this as the center line of the wall so steel is provided on the outer face for the positive reinforcement and negative means the steel is provided on the liquid face of the tank so whereas in tension uh, it is provided on both the faces so steel will be provided uh, half uh, in the top face and half on the bottom face same way half on the uh, top and bottom face half on top and bottom half top and bottom same way uh, we will have this negative negative now uh, this uh, while analyzing the uh, tank as a continuous frame uh, since the uh, sides of the walls are symmetrical uh, the long wall uh, both the long walls are identical uh, are uh, are identical and the uh, short walls are identical uh, you can consider this frame as a uh, as a symmetric one okay both sides symmetric it is symmetric on both the axis so uh, so you can uh, analyze any of one joint let us say this is uh, joint a this is joint b this is c and this is d so uh, since it is uh, uh, symmetrical uh, 
the courses will be the same uh at uh, the moments uh, at all the joints will be the same uh, if it is a joint a uh, uh, if you have the moments at joint if you analyze this uh, joint only then uh, same uh, moments will be at different joints also because uh, this frame is uh, this frame is a continuous frame both side symmetric continuous frame this implies uh, analysis of any single joint analysis of of uh, any corner joint any any corner any single corner is sufficient any single corner is sufficient uh just uh, wait for uh, uh hold on Okay, so uh, uh, am I audible? Okay. So this well, is how. Well, uh, 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 okay. okay. So uh, uh, this is how uh, uh, we can analyze the uh, tank uh, having aspect ratio uh, L by B ratio less than two. Uh, similarly, uh, we have case two. Uh, in which uh, the l by b ratio is more than 2 in that case uh, the uh, longer walls they are uh, acting as a, a cantilever case 2 l by b ratio greater than 2 so in that case uh, the long wall are designed as cantilever are designed as cantilever supported from the base cantilever supported from the base that means if you see uh, the elevation of the long wall let us say this is the long wall 
it is assumed that this this is fixed at the base long wall acting as cantilever okay and second the short walls are are designed as short walls are designed as as uh, supported on long walls supported on long walls so the short walls it is assumed that this this short walls they are supported on long walls and here also the bottom portion bottom portion uh, h is considered as maximum of the h by 4 that is the overall height of the tank or 1 meter whichever is more so in the long walls the bending moment is given by maximum bending moment in long walls which will be at, at the base because uh, they act as a cantilever these long walls are acting as a cantilever you can as a if you see it as a line element they are vertical cantilever so maximum bending moment will be at the base and it is given by 1 by 2 gamma w h square multiplied by h by 3 so that means it is uh, gamma w h cube by 6 similarly in the short wall the bending moments uh, will have the maximum positive bending moment as well as maximum negative bending moments so maximum negative bending moment will be at the corners or at the supports maximum negative bending moment in short wall this will be at supports at supports means uh, these are the supports for the short walls so the short the short wall is supported here okay this is supported by the long wall so the moment here is equal to m w h minus h times b squared by 12 and the maximum positive bending moment in short wall that will be at the center means here in the center middle portion of the uh, tanks okay, this center portion 
so we'll be at the center and that will be equal to gamma w h minus h times b square by 16. For bottom portion, the pending moment is equal to means for this this part for this bottom portion for this bottom portion the bending moment is equal to maximum of gamma w h times h square by 6 or gamma w h by 6 whichever is maximum that you have to consider uh, for the uh, bottom portion as a bending moment and in addition to these moments uh, there will be uh, axial tension in the walls so that direct direct tension in long wall is equals to gamma w h minus h times b by 2 okay and the direct tension uh, this is the uh, uh, this part is the uh, this group tension times uh, this b by 2 similarly for the short wall direct tension in short wall is equals to gamma w times h minus h times now this now here it is assumed that the uh, tension in the uh, tension in the short walls that is this the tension in the short walls the tension in this short wall uh, is due to the uh, one meter width of the long wall okay so that is why this one is here okay so because it is assumed that At one meter uh, portion of long wall, long wall is effective. So the tension due to this uh, one meter width is uh, considered here, whereas uh, the tension in the in the long walls will be due to the full width. I means half the width from uh, on each side so here the tension will be from the half width that is b by 2 okay b by 2 on this side and b by 2 for the another wall and and so we have this b by 2 uh, because b by 2 width is effective effective okay so this these two cases uh, will be considered for the design of rectangular tanks and in the next lectures uh, we'll take an uh, take examples uh, based on uh, both the cases okay so so any doubt in this? Okay, uh, so if you don't have any doubts, uh, we can stop here. Uh, and in the next class, uh, we'll see examples based on uh, rectangular tanks.
having aspect ratio less than 2 as well as uh, aspect ratio uh, more than 2. You can leave the class now.